Hello everyone, we are here in this beautiful village today and welcome to the third episode and the last episode of our Local Heart Global Soul. And today we are here in the youngest and one of the newest district here in Naglin, which is Newland District, which was created on 18 December 2021. And in this series, I'm covering the third district of Naglin, which is Newland. In the first episode, we covered Dimapur. Second episode, we traveled across Chumukidima, and today we are here in Newland. This village is known as Kotovi Village, which is established in 1967, and it is about more than an hour away from Chumukidima District of Naglin. And today, we are here in this beautiful and mesmerizing village, and we are going to meet someone very special, a family who has been doing agribest business, and also who are farmers and growers. We are going to meet the family today, a family of 10, where the father used to be a first class contractor, but now a farmer. So we're going to meet them and we'll be traveling across different parts of Newland today and different villages. And let's dive into the world of farmers and growers. Let's go and let's go. Hi everyone. Welcome to the brand new series, Local Heart, Global Soul. This series is dedicated especially for those who contribute to the local economy of Nagaland. And in this series, we'll be diving through different districts of Nagaland, namely Chumukima, Dimapur, and Newland. These three districts, we have created special stories from different weavers, farmers, growers, and also people who are in the food industry. In this series, we'll be exploring all of them, and this is something that is truly from my heart. This is something I've always wanted to do, to give back to the society, because you guys are the ones who have given me so much and this is how I'm giving back to the society. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the series Local Heart Global Soul. See you guys! In this video, we will dive into the inspiring story of government employees turned farmers in Newland, Nagaland. These individuals have embraced agro-based enterprises like coffee and silk farming with patience and dedication. Their journey from traditional government jobs to innovative farming practices showcased their commitment to preserving traditional crafts and creating sustainable livelihoods within their community. Join us as we explore the remarkable transition and the impact of their ventures on the local economy and environment and since i'm here in the sumi village what's better than to wear the traditional attire of their tribe and this is a traditional westcott of the sumi men and yes this is how it looks like we are finally here in the village and we have met auntie and uncle sir kahoto and auntie katrin and today we are here in this beautiful village called Kotovi and behind this is their beautiful home na ambing ala chorus na ito and then we are going to explore uncle is a moga silk grower and auntie is a coffee farmer but they both work together hand in hand and we are going to explore the village today so auntie and uncle jao na jao na so we are going to go now so bye bye hi Guess what is this? This is Muga silk, which is one of the world's most expensive silk. And today we are going to explore how we get this Muga silk and also these coconuts. And uncle is here, Uncle Kahoto. He's a uh, Muga silk uh, grower. And we're going to explore his farm together. Now, uncle, he's a first class contractor turned uh, Muga silk grower. And today we'll get to learn why he has turned from a contractor to a farmer or a grower. Let's go and dive in to understand about this one. Hi everyone, we are here with Uncle right now, Uncle Kohoto, who is the head GP of Kohoto Village, Kohoto V Village. Aro, iti ap ni mukhan ito kutes na jaga nam. Ito nearly my welfare society, Newland, nearly Newland town. Acha, Newland town des na. And then we are here in the Muga Silk Farm, and yes. If you do not know, Muga silk is one of the most expensive and the best silk here in the world. And how many hundred kitty ever start with this? Two thousand three pra plantation should be. Okay. Aro two thousand seven pra two rearing start be. Okay. Aro kine akuri kena two thousand nine tito tate greenish. Greenish na andakan na lang. Andakan na should be. Okay. Ito Circulture Department, bra. Iman, ankan ke 
ফেমিলি আরো সোসাইটি ইটু খান ইটু সুতাপ বনাই কে কাপড়া বনাই কে ইটু সেল করবলে আর ইটু তো ভাল প্রজেক্ট ইটু মার্কেটিং বিশে ভাল আছে আর ইটু তো তেলা সিল তো ওয়ার্ল্ডের বেস্ট সিল্ক আছে ইটু জানি কে আমি খান বেশি ইন্টারেস্টিং হয়েছে আছে খান ইটু খুড়ি তো ইটু তো হলে টু নামিলে <laughs> 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 তাই পাতা খতম হলে নামিলে এই ইয়েটের পরা ওলা কে ট্রান্সফার করে কিনা ডাঙ গাছতে হালি দিব পাতা বেশি থাকা জায়গা গাছতে এনেকে বাসতে হালি কে ওপরতে হালি দিব আর সব একটা একটা কোকন বনাই না গ্রুপ একটা একটা পরা একটা কোকন একটা আমি বেশি ইন্টারেস্টিং হয়েছে আর এই একবার রেডিং করাটু আমি খান লাখ লাখ পয়সাটু কামাই না কমাই কোকন পরাবি আর এই কোকন তো লই কে রিলিং করে কে সুতা বনাই কে এই বিক্রি করা তো হলে টোয়েন্টি ফাইভ থাউজেন্ড পেয়ার কেজি এর আমি খান এই এইটু কারণে এই বেশি ইন্টারেস্টিং হয়ে যাচ্ছে আর এই তো আমি খান নাকা মানু তো এই আনএমপ্লয় প্রবলেম বেশি আছে এইটু পরা আনএমপ্লয়মেন্ট নাকা মুথ খানকে ইয়েতে আহি কে ট্রেনিং দি কে এমপ্লয় করবলে চান্স বেশি আছে এই কারণে আমি খান নীলি মিগল ফর সাইডি তো এই কলচার করে কে মেনটেন করে কে ট্রেনিং সো নট জাস্ট লাইক আঙ্কল সেট টু কার্প 
unemployment which is a huge problem here in Nagaland what they do is they give training to young unemployed people so that they learn about this and then they also have a farm school here which is sericulture school and they teach them there and then that's how they learn and then that's how they get employed and self-sustain for their own huh? mm. it's very interesting how nothing goes to waste uh, this one is from that thing no they take this after the cocoon that they come out of the cocoon and becomes a butterfly the males fly away the females are kept like this and then once it's kept like this they rear the eggs and then the eggs are kept here and the next season they put it back on the trees so that more uh, of those worms can be out now uh. Start going, huh? Ah, uh, See, they used to keep this uh, plants here. It's very interesting. They used to keep this tree here, so that uh, from this and that they come out. The worms come out, and then they start climbing this one. And then see, there one one of them. Ah, uh, two of them. 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 Two of Gas the Ali Dile twenty eight days, which had a Mitchell Hogana Namile, Gas the Namile, you do Utaigana dry leaf the Halile, Inica Cocon Hojabo, Inica Cocon Pab Chede, you do you do sell gray, Cocon Ecta de Tinta Cabra sell Grubo. Aro sit kokon koe. Sit kokon do ekdom balola select grigena. Sit kokon do lojegena. Mini bigger gurle. Sit kokon do pasta kahoe. Acha. So I love type of say. I took it here. Aro it to do. Ha? Poka. Moishe. 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 Ola over what? Oh, whatever like a laugh. Aro it do. You do do shut up, no jagging a shut up, but I did. You do really good again, shut up, all the job. You do. Haro, you do big, direct big gully to do a tintaka pajabo. Aro sit cocon, why jale? You do do pastaka. Pastaka. Meeting Kahoto Zimomi and his family, along with the workers at the sericultural farm operated by the Nilimi Welfare Society, was an enlightening experience for me. Established in 23, on 5 acres plot in Newland, this farm stands as a testament to Kahoto's vision for the silk industry in Nagaland. His journey began with a visit to Muga Farm in Golakat, where he sparked interest. Witnessing these potential benefits for Naga farmers, Kahoto embarked on his own Muga farm by planting some trees in August 2003. His dedication and sacrifices met by the Kahoto and NWS members reflect their visionary outlook on the future of silk production in Nagaland and just like I always say, local heart, global soul. We just got to hear uncle's story and now we're going to have a delicious sumi lunch. Since this is a sumi village, we're going to have a sumi lunch prepared by auntie and uncle. And we have here chicken, we have here salad, we have here mixed vegetables which is slow cook and we also have like bata, sorso bata as well. Then we have fish egg chutney, then we have akuni chutney which is fermented soya bean. And then we have the delicious pork which is prepared with, in a slow cooked manner with akuni which is also fermented soya bean. This is the huge pork that we have and obviously the rice. And this plate is made of a wooden plate and this is made of a single piece wood if I'm not mistaken. And this is usually used by Angamis and Semas. Although almost all the tribes in Nagaland use it but I've seen mostly Angamis and Sumis still using it and not just keeping it for display. Because for us, a lot of us we used to just keep this plate 
in this plane eh? in a common room eh, no? but for them they still use it so really nice and another interesting thing is for them what they do is the husband and wife they sit together and enjoy this uh, feast together it's not a, a festival feast however this is an everyday affair for them to eat together like this so let's dive in chicken So right now we are here with Auntie Catherine. Our Auntie Aida, good day, guys. Now, man. Uh, aji, I've been can aha gane bishe kushipa aze. I've been itia mokan la coffee farm de jai ne coffee kan sam. Acha, apni daro kiman sa coffee to grow kore sa. Itu coffee halato 2018 para plantation kore aro itia to harvest kora to tin sal hoyse. Acha. Coffee lao, not background group, or we like up Nikina start with she, or Kitiava start with she, or Kili to Korea, sir. It to 2018 day, American coffee Haleato, Bishop Hal Ulaise to Carne, American coffee to at the harvest be hoje in a huapara, coffee Halile, American Carne benefit Bishop Hovonegi, it to Farmers manato itu coffee coffee meat crop kuri dille bishop hal ho ni koi kine interest interest lagi jaise aro ami kam bossi to coffee to bishop hal ula se dia top to acha aro apni kan to kina start with chef first to land resource department coffee mo kan bossi mano kan ke dise sapling Itu karne moy kan to imang khushi para loy kine hali disle kofi to moy kan la bosi mili kine climate mili kine bishe phal hoyse itu karne etia top ami kan na chhai kine mam phal para kofi to dali diya se ar anti apni kan to itu market ase etu kofi la market to bishe phal ase etu red beans to itu ase itu phal para paki jese Ito na. Hmm. Ano to kando kita sell ko? Inga ko na direct sell ko na. Ito top mo kando ito direct sell na ko kine ito dry ko kine. Aha. Kaji de one forty five para bikir ko kine. Acha. Ano nagali manuwa bikay na loy na manuwa loy. Naga manuwa ay kine mo kando ako para loy na. Ano ito bisya manuwa he? Bikaw le. Can you let me like a video? Can you go let Bishop Mano? I hit a year, Roh did a year. Phone probably contact with a game will last at us the king. Our Abney, any message at Taco Munjai? Message at Taco Munjai, Manu, like Manu Hangi Kili coffee business, call again. Eto coffee plantation curato, uh, Bishop has a harvest as a two tin salt jar salt de goody harvest which I took her name. I mean. Kovale mon thaga to mo kan thaga mano to to sub mano bi to coffee plantation hole to to dosa dosa plantation kan harvest na kura agede itu he harvest kura kine ami kan labor charge hole bi ulai thebo aro ami kan itu bishi profit pay jawo kura kine mo itu kovo price. Aro a message check tak kuih di mana lagi ni mana bishi pusat nak main pusat nak main guna kau deh boleh tu na boleh apni kan do contractor hui lebi ki hui lebi aina farm kan kuih na itu shift kuih tu na itu lah bela kuih di opar wah aku baca dosta saya baca dosta kibi itu tu sayas na itu farm kan kuih kuih na itu bi kau paru ni ame kan do baca dosta saya aro ata do class one contractor saya hui lebi itu kan sob cari kene itu ada coffee farming itu bisnes pelas ya, atau itu market bi bisnes pelas ya. Itu karena, amikan itu kan harvest kau kene, 
এই কাম বিকের করে কিনে বাচ্চা দশটাবি সব সব পারে আছে কই কিনে এই মেসেজ And just like I say, you know, most of us here, we like to say that we are, we often say that, you know, we don't have employment here, people here are lazy to work, but it's stories like hers or it's stories like uncle that makes us realize that, you know, there's so much we can do as farmers, as growers. Most of us in Nagaland, what we do is, like, if the chutu come down or come, we judge our work a lot. Like, Tohono YouTuber, as a videographer, as a farmer, as a grower, as a, but at the end of the day, if you can self-sustain yourself, if you can promote yourself in such a way that you can uh, have some financial stability, and I think that's the end of the story, and I think that is why you should also work hard, and we should also work hard. In Nagaland, the rise of coffee shops is growing and coffee farm signifies a growing interest in coffee culture and agriculture in the region. Simultaneously, the establishment of coffee farms indicate an investment in sustainable agriculture, diversifying crops and potentially offering economic opportunities for farmers. In the heart of Nagaland, Kahoto Zimomi and his family are weaving a story of tradition and innovation in both the silk and coffee industries. Their local passion resonates globally, showcasing the potential of Nagaland's silk and coffee And finally, we are done stage. with the end of the series, Local Heart Global Song. I hope you all enjoyed it because for me, I enjoyed learning, unlearning, and also growing at the same time with regard to my knowledge, experience, and so much more. And I hope you guys sitting on the other side of the camera will also enjoy the same as much as I did. Well, this is the end of the series. I hope you guys enjoyed me exploring Timapur town where I took the stories of the food and then to Jumuginima town where we took the stories of the weavers and today here in Newland district of Nagaland where we explored the farmers and the agro best families here in Newland town. Well, this is the end of the series. I hope you guys enjoy it and if you guys like Make sure to please do like, share and subscribe and this will go a long way for me because if you support me, I will be able to support more people and more things as well in the future. So thank you so much for watching this video and signing out for the one last time. Thank you so much for watching and yeah, this is the end. Local heart, global soul and see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.